We've been sold an idea that doesn't work. The idea that relationships are based on this you complete me codependent thing that truly, truly, truly does not work. We've seen in the divorce rate, we've seen in our parents and probably their parents that it doesn't work. We're here to tell you that there is another option. Yeah, unfortunately the lie that it's just about communication and if you nail communication, you'll nail relationships, it doesn't work anymore. And we've got new humans in a new world that is so technologically advanced and expanding every single day that we need new tools in how to be together and how to be together in this modern world. And because of our own struggle, because of the fight to keep this relationship alive and thriving and not just something that we got through in order to keep it together for the kids, we knew that there had to be other ways. And stumbling upon research and science and different tools and strategies that actually helped us get past those tricky moments, those moments where we felt like, oh my God, we will never ever clear this. <laughs> those kind of moments, I know you know what I'm talking about. When we got past that, we knew we were onto something. Mm. We knew we found some goal that we needed to share with them. After taking their work, I was able to freaking have some of the best damn sex of my life. And being 40 years old, I will tell you, real talk, that is worth it. It's allowed me to take responsibility for the aspects of the relationship that, that I wasn't happy with. Instead of projecting it onto her, taking responsibility for that and seeing that it was actually coming from me. I feel like it's just strengthened us, you know, month by month, taking ownership of our parts in both our relationships and... Um, I feel like I have completely um, blossomed into the woman I want to be. I can honestly stand here and say, if it wasn't for the work we did with those two, I don't think we would have broken into living more powerfully, more confidently, and more boldly in each of our unique purposes and supporting each other as powerfully as we're able to now. We are closer than we've ever been. We feel so embodied together and alone. I, we, I mean, it's like, it's like a, there's a fire in both of us and between us that I, but I don't even know how to describe. You will see very few people living and walking their talk. And I feel that Alexi and Preston are the embodiment. What's up y'all, I'm Preston Smiles. I'm Alexi Thanos. And we are the founders of The Bridge to Love. The biggest thing for us as a couple, it just helped us have a language that we both now can understand. I think for Michelle and I, we grew up in, in a way that our belief system wasn't really built that we can have it all. And I think that that was the biggest contribution that they've had on our lives on a personal level. Have our own marriage now and we've stopped comparing that to anyone else's. Like I am a hard nut to crack. I am a stubborn, 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 strong-willed woman. And if Alexi and Preston can turn me from those deep patterns and I was a complete no to marriage. It was like, it was not happening to where I am now. Um, there's no way you can lose. Strengthen our relationship in a way that it has never been strengthened before. So we are married and we are also totally, completely obsessed with everything human potential, personal transformation, personal development. And we've been on our own journeys for over a decade and collectively together for the last six. And within those six years, we've been married for three, uh, have a beautiful little baby boy named Kingston and have, you know, really been blessed with all kinds of opportunities and we've taught all over the world, we've traveled all over the world, we've written books for one of the biggest publishers in the world, Simon & Schuster, I've been on the covers of magazines, all things personal development, we have risen to the top and I'm still in that place. However, however, within all of that and all of it is amazing, we began to notice something that we kept bumping into and all of our friends were bumping into the same thing and that was this sort of misunderstanding about how to truly be in a thriving relationship. Yeah, we kept hearing, you know, the common thing, which I'm sure you've heard, is communication is everything. If you nail communication, you'll nail the relationship. And nope. we study communication, we teach communication, and yet we were having a hard time 
really learning how to speak each other's language and connect with each other and keep the spark alive and keep the joy alive through all of what life was bringing us. So in some ways we kind of felt like failures because here we were <laughs> teaching personal development and self-actualization and feeling like we really nailed that within ourselves. And yet we couldn't figure this thing out. And, and here's the thing, our relationship has always been amazing. But when we hit those snags, mm -hmm. which happened every, you know, a few times a year, those snags became huge holes. Yep. And we couldn't figure out how to just keep them snags and mend those snags to get back to the fabric of our relationship. And it felt like, and I'm not sure if you guys have ever been in this position, but it felt like we were starting at day one. Yeah. Every single time something big came up and we were arguing and disagreeing and blaming and criticizing and all the other stuff that sort of comes with, um, being taught how to be in a relationship by our parents and their parents and television and film, which is not our fault and it's not your fault, right? We've all been conditioned in a particular way. But with, with all of that coming up for us, we, we, we began to look and go, okay, let's really dive into this. No, we're not necessarily relationship gurus or we're known as that, but we know what to do. Let's do this for us. So we studied everything we could get our hands on. Yes. We found kind of the older models of relationships from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and we found kind of the newer 80s, 90s, early 2000s, and we still felt like there was a gap. And it wasn't really until we found the science behind love, the science behind relationship and bonding and attachment, that we could really understand each other and really understand ourselves in a relation to one another. And that's why we call this the bridge to love we've began to take out the best of each of these things and create our own methodology around it for us. Yeah. And friends and family and people in our workshops began to ask about these things. They began to see our relationship and go, <laughs> yo, you guys actually, you guys look like you're, you're thriving. Like and you guys look like you're having fun, like you still love each other, like you're passionate, even after a kid, even after like being yes. old. Like, and we work together, so we spend a lot of time. All the time. Of the time we're together. with each other all the time. And <laughs> here's the thing, they were right. Like truly, in, a, in my heart of hearts, I'm deeply and madly in love with this woman. Does she trigger me sometimes? Absolutely. At least a couple times a day. Um, it's do, natural. Do I trigger her? Yeah. Probably sure. 30 times a day. <laughs> You're yes. just gonna, you're gonna just like quadruple my number. Like no, I'm saying I know that I'm, you know, you know, it's different for men and women, which is also true. part of the science. Part of the science. Like, <laughs> let's be real. Like, we're not the same. And so, you know, this men are from Mars, women are from Venus kind of conversation where it's just like, oh, we're screwed, doesn't work for us. No. And and neither does this idea that communication is the only way and if you argue or you uh, disagree that you're somehow in a bad relationship it's really changed everything in terms of the way that we the way that we interact and the way that we communicate is so much so much better we saw each other in in a, a different light we saw each other at our most vulnerable and i think it opened up a space for us to to really trust each other in a way we never had before. It felt like we could strip everything back and get honest on a level of honesty for the first time in our relationship. We literally created this because it didn't exist. Yeah, and we were looking for it. <laughs> like we were, we were like, okay, yes to that little piece, yes to that little piece, that's awesome, but none of that stuff works anymore because we're new humans. And we legit were yes. like, we need to create our own system for us yes. and we have distilled all the stuff that really worked for us and took us from, you know, like things are great and then when they weren't, they were like terrible, <laughs> like World War Three, to when things are, you know, uncertain or things are maybe in conflict, it's okay and we can be with it more powerfully. Now. So if you are in a place in your relationship where you truly love each other, but you can't seem to get on the same page. Or if you guys are replaying the same old patterns and problems. Or if you just got together and you just wanna take it to another level. You, you know that uh, success happens when we are prepared for it, that when we, we get ahead of it, and you just wanna get proactive about making sure your relationship is intact. Yeah, especially if you've got a new chapter coming, like moving in together, or getting engaged, or married, or thinking about having kids, 
this is the perfect time to deepen and build that foundation. And this is for you if you have a family and you want to break the cycle of what you saw in your parents. Mm -hmm. If you really want to take on the responsibility of making sure that your relationship is not just surviving, but thriving. Yeah, and this is also for you if you and your partner have a good relationship, but maybe you feel more like roommates and the spark is kind of fizzled and you want that extraordinary feeling again. And this is for you if you're you know, maybe in a little bit of disagreement and deciding on whether you guys should or shouldn't be together. We teach that if you're gonna leave anything, leave it on a high. Leave it powerfully. Leave it having fun. Leave it in pure love. And so if you're in that space, before you guys make that decision, join us. People would look at us on the outside and say that everything was fantastic. We had great family life, we had great kids, and when we showed up in public, everything was beautiful. But behind the scenes, we had struggles, challenges, a lot of problems that we were going in opposite directions. We learned to play on the same team. So if you're feeling like something in this video on this page resonates with you, we ask you to listen to that because we truly believe that everything happens for a reason. And you are watching this video in this moment because something is calling you forward. Something in your heart, in your soul, something deep in your spirit is saying, hey, we've got work to do. There's something more I wanna experience or feel or explore. And we truly believe that this methodology will help you understand yourself in relationship to another in a way like you've never done before. And how do we know? Because it works for us and we've done all the things, <laughs> like all the things. And truthfully, like this feels like such a gift to offer to the world because, you know, when you meet your person and you find that person, and you have all these ideas about what your future is gonna be and how it's gonna look, and then you hit those road bumps. It can be devastating sometimes to sit in the possibility of not being together. It can be devastating to think about what your love once was and feel like, are we ever gonna get back to that place? And we've been there. Mm -hmm. We've been at the point where we were ready to walk away and call it quits because we didn't wanna deal with our wounding or we didn't know how to deal with it in relationship to each other. Yes. And this work, this process, these tools have helped us really drop in and be here, here with each other again, which really solidifies and brings back that spark and brings back that trust and playing team that leads us to so much amazingness in our lives that we just I just feel so grateful and I hope that you give yourself that gift. You know, we both live by the creed, love will find a way, everything else will find an excuse. Yes. This is your opportunity to find a way. It's laid out here for you. If you decide to join us, we'll be there with you. It's a really beautiful journey and truly has helped heal our relationship and take it to another level. And so take it from us and all the other people and the comments and all of that stuff that you may see from people who've worked with us in the past. They created the safe container for me to really um, face off with what I didn't know and to look at myself and see what I was doing and to see that my heart was shut off. I would recommend them wholeheartedly if you're thinking about jumping in with them and getting you know any teachings or guidance on a relationship. They are definitely a couple that I stand by bar none. And before we started doing this work, we were both hacking away to get our individual businesses off the ground. And less than a year later, we both have businesses that are starting to really ramp up and starting to thrive. We've got a beautiful partnership between the two of us and a little baby on the way. So <laughs> things are working out. Sign up with these two, you won't regret it. And if you can get around them and you can get in their programs, do it because there's a lot of teachers out there in this world that put on this bullshit show. There's relationship coaches that aren't even in relationships. And who better to learn from than people that walk their walk um, and don't own that they've arrived or they're better than you. They actually are in partnership with you. So don't overthink it, sign up, take your relationship to that next level. And I promise you, you will see everything, all this magic unfolds from this decision. Love will find a way, everything else will find an excuse. So if you are ready to find a way, to make a way, and to create a new possibility for what love and relationship looks like in your life, check out The Bridge to Love.